my Cobra Kai review without any spoilers after watching seasons one, two, and three. If you haven't seen Cobra Kai yet, you should feel safe to watch this. Think of this as Cobra Kai foreplay, <laughs> if you will, to rev up your excitement. And make sure you watch from the beginning, though, starting with season one, episode one, and continue in order. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense to you because each episode is a continuation of the one prior. So without further ado, let's get started. If you like the video, please click like, subscribe, comment on what you love most about Cobra Kai. I'd love to read that. And those easy actions will tell YouTube to show my content to more people, which I deeply appreciate. So right off the bat, Cobra Kai is the best reboot or continuation sequel I've ever seen before in my life. It really is that good. They did a brilliant job with it. They brought back the original actors to play the parts, except for Mr. Miyagi, because the man who played Mr. Miyagi, Pat Morita, he passed away, sadly, November 24th of 2005. They correctly did not get someone else to try to play his part. They begin Cobra Kai in a timeline where Mr. Miyagi had already passed away, and they do him great honors throughout the entire series. It's so beautiful how they honored the life of Pat Morita and his character he played, Mr. Miyagi. In my opinion, Mr. Miyagi is the greatest mentor in TV history. If they hired someone else to play his part, I think it would have been a disaster. It would have been a mistake so big it might have actually ruined the whole reboot of Karate Kid. Throughout the series, there's a really beautiful duality between Danielson and Johnny Lawrence where they're both equally the good guy and the villain. You find yourself rooting for both of them to join forces, to become the best of friends. And I won't say anything more about that. You'll just have to see it. But it was done perfectly, brilliantly, beautifully, creatively. And it's told mostly through the lens of Johnny Lawrence, especially toward the beginning. In addition to the perfect and imperfect duality, they found the perfect balance for bringing back the old that we love so much and feel so warm and nostalgic over, and then bringing that into the new and into the future. So it's not an instance of where the writers got lazy and they decided to ride on the coattails of their past success with the original Karate Kid movies. It's not that at all. It's got that perfect nostalgic feeling of, ah, oh, I remember this, and wow, this really takes me back and makes me feel so good. And then building on that and bringing it forward into the future where it's just new, it's interesting, it's super creative, and so good. Throughout the series, they go into real deep human emotions. It's entertaining, it's emotional. You feel like you're in this with them. You're very emotionally involved. It's really intense. There's also some really good dark comedic moments in there as well for some really amazing balance between all of that. And every episode ends with this cliffhanger that fills you with this urgency of, oh, I gotta watch the next episode. I gotta see what happens next. And that was done probably more brilliantly than any cliffhanger style ending I've ever seen before, ever. The script writers for this series are the best in the business. When an episode ends, or I finish binge watching a season like I did for all three seasons so far, I feel like a different person and I'm inspired to be a better person. After the emotional investment, I make binge watching an entire season. That's the type of impact I feel. I don't really watch TV these days. I occasionally watch South Park and Family Guy. The last time I got involved in a TV show was Boston Legal, and that ended in 2007. It's 2021 now. I bought one month of Netflix for about seven or eight dollars just so I could watch Cobra Kai seasons, season three. For seasons one and two, I bought a one month subscription for YouTube Premium for each year, or I, I think they called it YouTube Red or something like that. So I'm giving you my perspective as someone who's not really interested in TV anymore like I used to be back in the day. And lastly, I'll say this. I cannot wait for season four. I hope it continues to season five and six and so on. As long as it's this good, I hope it lasts forever. So please comment about what you love most about the Cobra Kai series. Tell me if you're rooting for Danielson and Johnny Lawrence to become the best of friends. And please subscribe to my YouTube. Tickle the like button blue so that YouTube shows my content to more eyeballs. And remember, fear does not exist in this dojo. Mercy is for the weak. See you again soon. Mwah.